Is he a man? Is he a boy? Is he short? Is he tall? When you see him, you know it's him. Captain, I can. Who is he? Captain, I can. Who is he? Captain, I can. He's telling people near and far to live their dreams, whether big or small. Never give up. That's what he says. The stars above are not too far. Captain, I can. Who is he? Captain, I can. Who is he? Captain, I can. You're at work and don't know what to do. At school and don't have a clue. Never give up, that's what he says. Your dreams and goals will come true one day. Captain, I can. Who is he? Captain, I can. Who is he? Captain, I can. His source of energy is from above. The words he speaks come out of love. He'll tell you to read a book, think positive, and never give up. Captain, I can. Who is he? Captain, I can. Who is he? Captain, I can. Welcome to Captain I Can Power Time, where we activate, energize, inspire, organize you for success. We are your hosts, Captain I Can and Mrs. Sunshine. And how are you today? It's a lovely, lovely, lovely day. Yes, it is. And today. It's Mother's Day weekend. Yes. Oh my, oh my. Wow. And we are going to have a special topic today. It's my mother and me. Yeah. Oh yes. Oh and yeah. And Mrs. Sunshine, happy Mother's Day weekend Thank to you, you too. Oh yeah. So we're going to introduce to you our panelists. We have Jonathan and Mommy Tammy, Tamara. Say hi. Next we have Annalisa and Mommy Latoya. Hey! And we have Santoya and, and Mommy, Mommy Karine. Hey! Hey! And then we have we have Chloe and Mommy Tanya. Hey! Hey! How are you? How are you doing? How are you doing? Wow, wow. Well today. We're going to start first with Jonathan. How would you describe your mother? A big, beautiful, and amazing. Okay, thank you, Jonathan. Anna, how would you describe your mother? Hi, she's funny. And sometimes we play together. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay, and now we're going to go straight to Santoya. Could you tell me about your lovely mother beside you? How would you yeah. describe her? <laughs> I'm she's loving and caring. Yes. Yes? Wow. That's wonderful. Okay. So now we know that mom, mommy teaches a lot of things. Yes. Right? Yes. And you learn a lot of things from your mother. Yes. So I want you, Jonathan, to tell me some of the things that you have learned from your mother. To be thankful, to do things without complaining, and to manage my emotions and not let them move. Oh, okay, awesome. wow, manage your emotions. Yes. Oh man, wow, these things. Oh man. So I'm going to ask Chloe, what are some of the things that you learned from your mother, Chloe? Well, my mom teaches me to be loving, organized, responsible, and, and caring. Wow, that sounds wow. great. That sounds great. We're going to ask. Annalisa, what have you, what are some of the things that you learned from your mommy, Annalisa? To be kind and to love others. Yes. And also, how to cook. What? Wow! <laughs> how to cook? Oh. <laughs> what are some of the things that you do with your mother? Now, I'm going to go straight back to Annalisa. Um, sometimes I play with her. Yeah. Yeah. And 
sometimes we do something called imagination session. Like sometimes we close our eyes or don't and tell each other what we see. Wow. Wow. That that's a like big fun. one. That sounds Imagination. Like fun. Yes. Yes. <laughs> you know, and I have been into somebody's imagination. That's why I'm now Captain Icon. Yes. So imagination is a great thing. Yes, it is. Right. So let me ask Chloe. Right. What are some of the things that you do with your mom? Pardon me? What are some of the things that you do with your mom? Well, we normally sing and dance together, as well as watch movies and cook. Okay. So we have a lot of young chefs here, Captain. Yes, Ica. a lot of young chefs, yes. and uh, uh, you know the dance. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I wonder what the, the different types of dance you do with your mommy. What oh. kind of dance you do, Captain? I wonder what kind of dance you do. I don't know. I don't know if mommy do the dance. Oh, oh, man. Well, I don't know. And now tomorrow. You tell me what's your number one activity with John. Talking. Talking. Just visiting with John. He's just wonderful to talk with and we just talk about life and it's it's so rich, it's so good. He has a lot of wisdom. Okay. So, so talking with John. Wow, that's great. Okay, so that's the number one activity. So let me go now to Latoya. You tell me your number one activity. Number one? Well, number one for both of us is the imagination session. Oh, yeah! We, we just lie down and we relax. And we, we go anywhere we want to go. Yes. We yes. go by the beach, we climb the mountains, we see the angels. We, uh, we just imagine oh, and, and wow. have beautiful experiences together. So, and that's great. I want you to stick a point right there and tell everyone out there, remember, imagination is a great thing. It's a great thing to empower and to help your children to know who they are and dream big. I always say dream big, think big, and never give up because your dreams are never too big with God. All things are possible. Deacon, stay with us. We'll be right back. I can. Welcome back. Now let's hear some fun facts from Sweetie. Oh yeah. Woo. Hey guys, I'm Sweetie from the Sunshine News. Here are four fun facts about mothers. The first Mother's Day was on May 10, 1908, funded by Anna Jarvis. Woodrow Wilson made it a national holiday in 1914. The mother's heartbeat provides a soothing, constant rhythm for the fetus. Further studies have shown that the heartbeat and the sound of the mother's voice can actually help the baby's brain to grow. Mothers always seem to be able to hear their baby's cries before anyone else. That is because after childbirth, there's an increased level of oxytocin in the mother's brain. This hormone makes her brain more sensitive to her baby's cries. Now hopping over to the animal kingdom. Baby Cayolas are called joeys. In addition to their mother's milk, they also eat their mother's poo. Ew, yeah, I know, which is full of the mother's stomach bacteria. It helps the joey to grow and prepare them for their adult diet of eucalyptus leaves. And that was four fun and very interesting facts. Thank you, sweetie, for those fun facts. Oh, yeah. Woo. My mother taught me about stuff. Your mother did mention some Yes, time? my mother taught me a lot. You had some similarities with your mother? Yes. What are those similarities? Well, first of all, I think I look just like my mother. You look just like yes. your mother? Yes, I smile like my mother. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I can't say the same for me. And I can sing like my mother, too. 
Okay, so what are the similarities you have with your mother? So let me go back to Jonathan. You tell me, Jonathan. You're both smart, humorous, Oh! Ah! She, she, she told you to say that! She told you to say that! I know, your mother must have told you to say that! Oh! <laughs> Jonathan is smart like his mother. Absolutely. That and and um, what I didn't hear the others. The smart part just just got me. Yes. What were the other similarities, Jonathan? Smart, humorous, and loving outdoors. Okay. Okay. Wonderful. <laughs> now we're going to go over to Chloe. You can tell me some of the things that are similar with you and your mother. And don't let you whisper in your ears now. Actually, we share our time, our love for writing and language, and our shoe and shirt set. Oh, man! Okay, okay. So many things that you share. Oh, so mommy has to hide so, her shoes. Yeah, so mommy, mommy and Chloe go shopping for shoes. Oh, yes. <laughs> And, 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 and you, you know, so you write poems and you write these different things, right, Chloe? Yeah. Not a lot. Not a lot. Not a lot. Okay. Okay. Okay, so we're going to go to Annalisa. What are some of the similarities that you have with your mommy? Your turn. Um, that we both love to eat a lot. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, I don't even... <laughs> you, you both love, love to eat a lot and we dance together. Oh, dance. Okay. okay. That sounds great. That, sounds that one is fun. real. That <laughs> one is real. That's coming from the heart. And you love that mommy eats a lot like you because you can remind mommy say mommy. When you have something, you say, Mommy, remember we eat a lot together and you share a lot of things, right? Yes. Okay, that's wonderful. Okay. So, Mommy Tanya, what are ways you show motherly love to your child? I think that knowing, knowing who she is, she enjoys a good conversation and just, just having time with her one-on-one, -on -one, face to face and just picking her brain because she's brilliant yeah. and I just love to hear the ideas of uh, ideas that she has for her future what she's going to do with herself it's amazing to have these conversations with oh. her so I enjoy that that sounds wonderful okay that sounds thank you, great mommy. thank you mommy Tanya and now we're going to go right over to mommy Tamara yes. to tell us what are some of the ways that you show love to your child well, first of all, I have this amazing friend, Safia, and she taught me some years ago, Tamara, you should learn your children's love languages, whatever that is. And I have I have a few children, okay? So I have a lot hey. to learn. You <laughs> have learned a lot. And so for John, it is quality time and words of affirmation. Yes. So I, I listen to John. I take the time and I listen to John and I encourage him. You know, and especially when he's feeling discouraged, I just give him that encouragement. We're going to go to now, Mommy Kareem. Tell us some of the ways that you show love to your child. Ah, uh, in the first place, you have to show them love. Tell her, I tell her a lot, and I love her. Yes. Yes. I also. Uh, Tell her who she is. I also encourage her a lot. Yes. That's correct. That's what I. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. The encouragement is very important to our children, um, and it's we're we're never telling them enough that we love them. So it's something that we should do every day to let them know that we love them. Thank you, Mommy Karine. 
Now we will okay. now we'll be asking Mommy Latoya. Okay, um well first and foremost, lots of hugs and kisses. Yes. Yeah. Because yes, and Alicia loves to be hugged and kissed <laughs> and just rubbed all about and just feel nice, you know. Yes. You know, the touches of mommy. Um yes. so that that's one of the, the things that we do. Um also I tell her a lot that she's precious, she's wonderful. Yes. Um, all the amazing things about her. Because words of affirmation as yes. as Tamara mentioned is one of the things that is, is amazing for Annalisa. So thank you all for sharing. Let us give all our guests a round of applause. Wow. If you can stay with us, we'll be right back. Welcome back. We'll be moving right over to see what Mrs. Sunshine and the crew did at I Can Belly Full on the Welcome to I Can Bellyful on the Beach. Today I have two special guests with me, and it's Joe, hey, and Joshi, hi, from the Sunshine Youths. Now, because it's Mother's Day weekend, they have decided to take charge. Come on, guys. <laughs> so today we'll be making Mama Mia chocolate cake. Woo, Mama Mia! Here we have a third of a cup of milk three packs of cookies separated from their cream, a teaspoon of baking powder, and the rest for our toppings. Mm, interesting. First, we'll add the cookies and blend it. Then after that is finished, we'll add our milk and our cream. Then we'll add our baking powder, our cream, and this is the cream from the cookies. And then we'll blend. While we're blending, we'll gradually add our milk. Now that it's done, we'll add it to a microwavable cup. This went in the microwave for three minutes and voila! Now it's time to add our toppings. First, we'll add our whipped cream. Then we'll add our chocolate on top. Fancy. Ooh. Looking good already. Nice. Nice. Look like Joe is a big chef. Now we're adding. Now we'll, we'll, we'll be adding some color. Wow. Thank you. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Joshi. This looks delicious. I'm going to enjoy my mama bear cake. So let me tell you, I know you're waiting to hear how it tastes, right? Oh, this decoration is wonderful. Oh, I love the texture. It just cuts so smooth. Oh, wow. Look at that. Now, I'm going to recommend kids try this at home for your mothers on Mother's Day. 
It's very simple and it's muy delicioso. I really enjoy it. Now, Joshi and Joe, thanks a lot. See you again, guys, next time. Bye. See you again next time. Wow. Welcome back, Mrs. Sunshine. That looks so delicious. Thank you. And it's, it's not about you because you were hijacked. <laughs> and they baked you that, that nice, lovely cake. Oh my, that looks so great. It, and it was delicious. Oh, wow, wow, wow. <laughs> they did a good job. Dad, oh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. And all of your mom, all of them, appreciate them. Be thankful for them. Listen to them. Tell them the nice, sweet words. Mommy, I love you. Yeah. Right, I appreciate you. Thank you very much for, for helping me. Thank you very much for teaching me. So I want to encourage you all. Give your mother a big, big hug. A big high five. Never give up. Tell your mothers, never give up. Tell them that they are born for greatness. Yes. Tell them that they can achieve their goals. Tell them that they are strong. Tell them all those great things. Yes. And I want to encourage you all today. Remember, your dreams are never too big. Never give up. It doesn't matter what is happening in our world today. I will always say to you, dream big, think big, and with God, all things are possible. Never give up. And as we go, we're going to leave you with this song. Five, four, three, two, one. Bless off, bless off. Ain't going to waste no time. Bless off, bless off. Stop procrastinating. Bless off, bless off. Keep your goals inside. Bless off, bless off. Just do it. You wake up in the morning, don't know how your day is going. You know you should be praying, cause your future's in the making. Instead you feel like crying, from all the things you're feeling. Now it's the time to break you, get up, this is what you gotta do. Just blast off, blast off, ain't gonna waste no time. Blast off, blast off, stop procrastinating. Blast off, blast off, keep your goals inside. Blast off, blast off. Just do it! You got good dreams in your head? Write them down with a pen! No matter what you're thinking, you can conquer any mountain! You're going on a mission, don't let fear blow your vision! Step out in strength and power positively every hour! Just blast off, blast off! Ain't gonna waste no time! Blast off, blast off! Stop procrastinating! Blast off, blast off! Keep your goals in sight! Blast off, blast off! Just do it! Blast off, blast off! Blast off, blast off. 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 Wait, blast off? Captain, I can. Are we going out of space? Well, Mrs. Sunshine. If your dream is to go out of space, yes you can, as often as you can, dream big, never give up.